Okay. Alright, hi everyone. It's been a while. I haven't done readings in such a long time. I have my incense on, you know, so sorry the smoke is going all the way up there. I'm going to do a quick reading. Um, if you clicked on this video, just a quick reading on earth signs and water signs. So, um, first group will be earth signs. Second group will be water signs. And then later, I, hopefully I'll be able to do the fire and air signs. So, it's been a while, I guess. This is just going to be, like, what does the rest of March have for me? I'm going to start with the earth signs. As you can see, like, I have my little, like, you know. I'm a, I have a lot of earth in my chart, so maybe even I need this reading. But, um, I hope to get messages that align with everyone, or at least some of you. And, okay, we already have our first message for earth signs in general. Taurus, Virgo. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Also, after the readings, I'm going to be doing like a quick charm pick. So, how this works is after our reading or during our reading, I'll pull out a few charms and see um, if we can get any more clues on what the reading is. And they're going to be quick readings, guys, okay? So, so far, this is what we have for the Capricorns, Tauruses, and Virgos. So... I feel like there's been a lot of deciding whether we want to prioritize, and I'm saying we because I'm, <laughs> I'm a Capricorn, but um, I feel like the earth signs are having a hard time prioritizing work over love. Um, I feel like there's always like we want to kind of get out of our comfort zone and explore, you know, love or whatever, because I feel like we may have like the, the monetary funds already, like we might already be... Um, you know, succeeding with money, or we might feel like, oh, like, I'm already good like this, you know, like, I, I feel like I'm financially stable, but I feel like we always crave that extra, like, all right, like, what's next? Like, should I just keep getting my money, or, like, should I, you know, like, do something else? And I feel like we are letting ourselves be scared of love because we, uh, this is, like, the too fast card, like, this is, like, I feel like we always rush we always get let down too fast, perhaps. Like, there's maybe been a past person, you know, who maybe... <clears throat> this can be for some of you, maybe cheated. Because there's, like, a three of swords here. But I do feel like there's healing going on. Like, there's healing going on through, like, the matters of the heart. And maybe that's why it's getting hard to start fast with something else. You know, so I feel like while we want to explore the realm of love, there's still things that we... You know, I feel like the earth signs need to unpack before they start a relationship because they themselves know, you know, like, I can't start something with someone if I'm not, like, mentally prepared for it, you know? And then this is a love um, deck, so I guess a card from this would be useful. So challenging times and simply love, you know? Five and six, chronological order. We have ten, eight... Okay, so, so far the number I see here, there's been no repeating number, so I feel like, I mean, challenging times, I feel like we, the earth signs are kind of fighting with maybe their own ego, fighting with their own, like, their own little battle in, in, in regards to, like, how they're gonna be able to confront a situation or confront, um... Like, these problems, these, like, doubts that they, have, that they have within themselves sometimes, you know? This could be, like, an ego problem, you know? Like, we don't think... Sometimes we can be a little too, like, you know, we expect too much from people. Like, Cap like Capricorns, Virgos, like, have, like, these standards that, you know, I feel like people just feel like they don't reach, you know? Like, oh, like, like I like, you know, like, my partner to be like this, and, you know, like, I won't settle for less, you know? Like, we put so many standards that I feel like we always feel like, oh, like we can't, you know, like, ever get what we want, um, but the Simply Love one, I feel like, it's kind of, like, an invitation to, like, maybe make, maybe relationships not that, like, will fulfill us in every way, but maybe finding a student, you know, like, like, a teaching relationship with a person, right, like, I'm not saying, like, with, you know, teachers or anything, but I'm saying, like, finding someone that can, we can learn from and also teach something on, and then, like, someone, somewhere there, where there's an exchange of information, where, like, people can, like, where we, I feel like the earth signs are craving growth, 
and I feel like they're confusing it for the need of love, you know? Like, I feel like we think we want love, and we think that love is the answer, but in reality, it's just that we're craving a, a relationship that is able to teach us things, or that is able to help us grow, like, more within our career, more within us who we are as people. So I feel like that's the main thing. We're confusing what we want, and we're doing so all sorts of, like, ego-related things, you know, with the... Uh, we're having trouble figuring out. And I'm going to just throw a few. Okay. These are the charms we got. We got a little screwdriver. We got a little bottle. We got a seed. A C. An actual C. And an O. So if any one of you starts with a C, O. If somebody you met starts with a C or O. Those could be a message. Um... I feel like this seed means like we want to grow like I feel like it's going back to like like the fact that we're we feel like we're like we're un unnourished like we want to grow we want to figure out what can we do to sprout and like find something else that can fulfill us and fulfill this void of like feeling that you know we're not enough sometimes or oh we put these high standards like no let's learn how to grow let's learn how to um how to better ourselves, you know, like we seek that growth from others. We have a screwdriver here. I feel like, hmm, it, it landed around here. So I feel like there's a lot of like maybe fixing, um, that we're, that people, that the earth signs are doing, you know, like I feel like there's a lot of fixing or trying to, you know, like there's some fixing that they're trying to do within themselves that they feel can only done can only be done when they have like the support of others the screwdriver is interesting um this bottle here empty <laughs> emptiness is what comes to mind you know like we're we're seeking something that can kind of fulfill us um fulfill the earth signs we're seeking something that can help us and i feel like the screwdriver man what is the screwdriver like Fixing ourselves, fixing the earth signs, fixing, fixing other relationships in our life. Um, I feel like it can be open to different ways of interpretation. So that was a quick earth sign video, y'all. Um, if y'all think it resonated, you know, please let me know. And also I'm going to be moving on to the water sign one. Um, stay tuned, water signs. So that was interesting, okay. Okay, they decided to not want to be shuffled that way. But yeah, please let me know if it resonated. Sorry if y'all stopped watching. And now for the water signs. Water signs are gonna be intense. The full moon in Virgo is gonna is is being quite a bit on y'all. Okay. these back in here all right water signs hi it's um i'm here doing a quick reading on just any messages i want to come through for you during the rest of this march month of march any messages for the water signs scorpio cancer uh, what's the other water sign pisces we already have an immediate message for you as well so water signs what is in for the water signs Oh, wow. Water signs. One more, please. One more message for my water signs. Also, I'm doing charms um, after the readings. So, I pull out a charm after uh, the reading and see if they can relate to the reading. So, secrecy, y'all. Okay. Okay, water signs, who hurt you? Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, so there's um, there's this transformation that happened. I feel like as someone who, you know, because this is the Queen of Cups, this is y'all, you know. That's your element, cups, water, emotions. I feel like you were in a way very, like, 
like there's like there's this transformation like I there, I find so much power in these two back to back you know like like this transform into this you know and then we have this next and then you know like the sources connect it's like a timeline queen of cups you were very nice very mothering to people um i feel like you you were very emotionally attached to your like your yourself like you were uh, openly expressing your emotions you were like pretty open with what you had to say because you would say it from the heart and I feel like randomly, I feel like that has turned into something different now. You're definitely learned to keep your distance. So like from from being a person who was like very like giving and like, oh, here, take, take, take this and, and have that. I feel like there's just a, a lot of like, like, all right, I'm going to keep like, like my things to myself. Like in a way, it's you become more logical uh, maybe that's what's making you kind of be more reserved like you've become more logical in the sense of like that doesn't make sense for me to like you know be supporting or that doesn't make sense for me to keep you know leading on you know it's like like you're like maybe you were very patient with a person or you were very patient with a situation before and then now you're kind of like i'm done with the bullshit like like this is done like you're you're in, in a breaking point you're like or you went through this breaking point and you're like very demanding now with what you want you're very logical doesn't mean that you're heartless now or anything but it just means that like you've definitely become more stern with what you want and here i feel like something forced you out of you know because it's in reverse if it was like this and it meant that you decided to walk away from something but here something forced you to walk away from a situation or you know something the universe, you know, sometimes does this. It makes you walk away from things when you aren't already doing them. And I feel like maybe that's, like, like that's what made you kind of feel or see that you needed to be more logical and be more open to distance and distancing yourself and figuring out, all right, then who's actually going to stay, you know? Um, and I feel like there's, like, baggage in a way that you're trying to get rid of. Um, which is fine, you know, it's a healing process, so you're definitely still going through that healing process, but it's, you know, like, you're definitely this, you know, this transformation of, like, perhaps being very impulsive, like, all right, no more. Now you're just being secretive. Now you're just being, like, all right, like, I'm this untouchable person, like, that has secrets, and you have to really try hard to break that wall with me to, like, get to know me. Like, if you want to get to know me... You got to do the extra work. Like, I feel like that's the positionality you are. You're not even, like, you're not even, in a way, trying to, what you call it, entertain, like, things anymore. It's, like, mostly, like, if you want to be straight up with me, you will. You know, it's, like, that vibe. Um, I'm going to do a quick moon one because I feel like this one's connected more to the moon. So there's no, what's the moon message for water signs? And we have full moon and Virgo. You are good enough. So full moon and Virgo. We're actually in, in the full moon and Virgo. So that's interesting. I feel like this full moon, this whole cycle, I feel like this is going to change you. And I feel like you're going to definitely find some value um, within yourself. Because I feel like this whole situation made you perhaps feel um, like you weren't good enough. Or it made you feel like, oh, like, why is this person walking away? Why is this, you know, like, this, like very defensive energy and i feel like with this full moon like this current stage that we're in i feel like you guys are getting the most out of this full moon in virgo you're gonna feel like through this whole month you know through this whole moon phase you're gonna feel better and good enough about who you are now and then some quick charms oh this one stayed stuck on my finger now i'll take it so here we have the death oh interesting we have the little you had your card we have a an O and a Y. So we have an O and a Y. Yo. <laughs> it can be put yo. Um, and we also have the money sign. And we have this tree of life. So I feel like because there is, you know, if anyone with if anyone starts with a Y, if anyone starts with an O, maybe that resonates um, with somebody, some of you. For me, this death, you know, this little death symbol, I feel like it means, like, a transformation. Definitely going through your own 
healing process that you know you have to go through in order to heal like i feel like you especially water signs you are really all about transformation so i feel like that you know usually the death card i mean the death card is more for scorpios um but just overall water signs in general are very you know all about intuit intuitive transformation so i feel like there's definitely something going on with y'all and don't see it as a negative because remember i feel like this full moon in virgo is going to teach you a lot of positive things we have this tree of life here tree of life you know i feel like you you're already sprouting it as a new thing as a new like like for the earth signs it's like they want to grow like we we got a charm recently that doesn't mean we want to grow and i feel like for you the water signs there's already growth happening there's already you expanding your horizons you expanding your branches you want to you know you want to be like this whole new like tree that a new like way of a new life almost like a, a new um a new system of life i don't know like you know in in your own way that that can make you unique and kind of make you grow more than just like you want big now you don't you're not settling for for small stuff you want big now and this money sign here i feel like you're through this whole chaotic mess or this whole chaotic you know transformation process i feel like you're definitely trying to just focus on you know if you're a student in school if you're you know working money you know you want to maybe put your mind on this for now while this whole transformation is also going on in the background so that's what I'm getting for y'all, Water Science. Let me know if this resonated. Um, and yeah, I hope to see you next time. I don't know how much often I'm going to do videos anymore, but I just felt like doing them today. Next are going to be the Air Signs and the Fire Signs. So stay tuned for that. All right, y'all. Bye. And check your rising. Check your moon. Check your sun. And if, yeah, I think that's it for me then. Alright, I'll see you next time, y'all. Bye.